Hello there. Uh, just just bear with me. This is some uh, insane test that I am doing. I usually set all the camera gears and everything, and I sit in front of the chair and then I talk. But uh, today I'm trying to do something handheld uh, because I want to be more casual and uh, I really don't want to spend too much time in setting things up. And uh, the interesting thing is that I might start daily news briefing uh, where I'll talk about the major Linux updates from the day or the week. Uh, and today I, I just. As part of the test, I'm going to talk about the upcoming Google event. I am actually heading to SUSECon uh, tomorrow, and once I come back, I'll be heading back to IoT Summit, which will be in uh, Barcelona. Uh, so I'll be going out and in too much. So I I don't even know whether I'll be able to sit and actually uh, listen to the whole Google keynote. But um, uh, what I'm assuming from what the reports are coming out is that there will be a new Pixel phone. I mean, I have a Pixel phone, so I and I love that phone. That's the best uh, Android phone I have ever used. Pixel has the best smartphone camera till date. Even the iPhone 8 cannot beat the Pixel camera. My Note, this I, this is the Note 8. And no, the, the, the camera of Pixel phone is the best camera ever. So I am really excited about the next Pixel phone. Second thing that I am excited about is the next Chromebook. Uh, I own two Chromebooks, though I do not own a Pixel Chromebook. The reason is that it's damn expensive for me uh, because I think the first version was like $600. So I have I've not owned a Pixel Chromebook, but my good friend SJVN, of course, he's a very known journalist. He owns one, and every time we go to a Linux conference, I always, you know, try to play with his Chromebook. And I can say that Chromebook is one of the best laptops i'm not talking about chromebook in general sorry i meant to say that chromebook pixel is the best uh, laptop around there i'm not saying that this is the best chromebook i'm saying chromebook pixel is the best laptop for so many reasons i think the only device that might be a slightly better than it is uh, actually not slightly better because it still lacks some features is uh, apple's macbooks uh, Google has cracked the code of you know aspect ratio for the screen. I hate those 16 by 9 displays. Yes, they were good for back in the old days when you did not have tablets and stuff to watch movies. So, okay, 16.9 was a decent size or aspect ratio to watch movies. Now nobody watches movie on the laptop. Please, if you want to watch a movie, get an, a tablet or an iPad or a 4K TV. It's place. Uh, a laptop is meant for work and as a writer I cannot see text too much because a screen is damn so I cannot I, 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 I cannot just keep complaining about that so I love the aspect ratio of uh, Chromebook and MacBooks I mean MacBooks you know the 4.4 4, uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio is the best uh, for work because you know when I open it browser where I'm reading it so I get a lot of you know horizontal space where I can uh, uh, read stuff and, and and when I write I can see a lot of paragraphs I mean I'm not gonna write like 300 words in a single line that I need you know from this edge to this edge that is one issue uh, with, with you know other laptops and that's where I like Chromebook pixel a lot and of course MacBooks the second area where Chromebooks are the best laptops is, no, no I don't mean Chromebooks. I, I keep forgetting, I should mention Pixel. Pixel are the best laptops is trackpad. I have yet to see a Windows PC that has decent, decent trackpad. They all suck. But Chromebooks, Pixel, well, they have the best uh, trackpads. Um, of course, that's not as, not as good as uh, the MacBook trackpad because there are so many gestures, but uh, when you talk about non-Apple hardware, Chromebook Pixel is the best laptop out there. So my friend SJVN is not wrong when he says that Chromebook Pixel uh, was the Rolls Royce of Chromebooks. It is. It's a very fast, very powerful device and uh, it has a very long battery life. It's a maintenance-free device so you don't have to worry about viruses, you don't have to worry about uh, updating and downtime every time because uh, Chromebook kind of, uh, not Chromebook, but Chrome OS, uh, uses a different mechanism for software updates. So what happens is there are like two 
uh, operating systems installed on the system and they're like Linux based operating system which are very lightweight and uh, there's one operating system which is in the back and one that you're using so whenever there are updates they're installed on the, the operating system which is sitting in the back all those updates are installed on that one and all it takes it reboot the system and Chromebooks reboot in like some microseconds so the moment you reboot the system it doesn't download and install as you would see in Windows it just flips the the, the client and just switches to the operating system which is updated that's all it is and if there is a failure you won't end up with a broken system because you still have that other working operating system so it will automatically switch back to the working operating system and then wait for the next update to fix those so you'll never have any downtime uh, on Windows boy it could be like 20 minutes I mean I do use a Windows system uh, to keep an eye on where Microsoft is heading but I, I never carry my Windows laptop anywhere because there have been cases where I am flying out and I need to print a document and Windows rebooted and it started installing updates and that would take like hours. So uh, Google is doing incredible job there though they don't get much credit but they are doing a lot of work there. <clears throat> uh, so I am excited about the next Pixel laptop. However, the reason I did not buy it was that uh, the, the, at that price point, I can get a MacBook very easily. And um, it's not that I prefer Mac over Chrome. The reason is that I don't live in a browser. Um, I, I use a lot of desktop applications. Uh, I do a lot of film editing. I do a lot of you know audiovisual work. I do a lot of 3D printing. Uh, so I do need a lot of desktop based applications which are not available for browser-based Chrome OS. Uh, so no matter, I, let me close the door because the cats come in. <clears throat> I have two cats. Uh, so uh, so a browser-based uh, operating system is not going to work for me. It can work in some cases, but not all the time. So when I buy a laptop and it's going to be more than $1,000, I want something uh, which allows me to do whatever I want uh, to be done. But that said, uh, if you are somebody who spends almost all of your time in a browser, like all you do is use Google Docs and you know Facebooking and all those web-based applications, then Chrome Chromebook Pixel is the best device to have because, as I said, there's no maintenance, there's long battery life. There are two or three things that might make me uh, get the Pixel, and number one is. Google earlier promised that they are working with Adobe to bring some of their applications to the platform. I mean, if I'm going to spend something more than like $1,000, uh, I, I do want to be able to do all those things. And uh, Google does need those applications on its platform. So I hope that Adobe brings uh, their, 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 uh, their creative, um, creative Cloud suite to Chromebooks. That's number one. Number two is, I love Apple Care and I love Apple support. So uh, I have had mixed feelings with Google. Uh, once I remembered that I had a Google Music subscription on the i through iPad, and then I wanted to move it away from the iPad so that I can use it directly from Google. And I called them, and one of the executives gave me the wrong answer. She said that since I once had an AdWord or AdSense account associated with that account, I cannot move moved that uh, account from uh, Apple to Google and that was pure nonsense and you know I said no she's giving me wrong information and she got all you know pissed up and mad so I asked her to connect me to her executive and you know I explained and she's I mean obviously it, it has nothing to do with and you know, what she was suggesting me was that I should create a new account so that I can use Google Music and I can just switch back from that account and that account. So you're telling me that all my mails and everything and I just keep switching back and forth the account on my laptop or, or my, on my phone so that I can use Google Music. So sorry Google, but my experience with your support teams have been very bad, very pathetic. Uh, and, and, and it's no different in the hardware space uh, because I had a, a Google phone and it was a nightmare because I had to call Google and Google doesn't support it so I had to go to Motorola 
and it was just jumping from one loop to other and it was nightmare so I eventually decided not to get that device repaired and that's when I bought my iPhone because with Apple you just walk into the store you call them they will call you back and you get it repaired so uh, support and service is another area that Google needs to improve upon and beyond that I think there's nothing else uh, that has stopped me from getting the pixel uh, these two areas are the one oh yeah one more thing is to support for more uh, file systems uh, so that I can easily you know just take my SD card and plug it in there and use them uh, so these are some areas that I would expect Google to work on though I doubt they will because they have a niche audience and I think they are targeting those audiences uh, or those people uh, so I really don't think that they will bring Adobe anytime soon they might but it may not be the full fledged like if I'm editing 4k video on my uh, my system I need a lot of raw horsepower I need you know so I really don't think that a cloud-based premiere will help there but we'll see uh, and support that is a key area so Google please improve your support I'm really disappointed in the kind of support that I get uh, from your teams but other than that uh, from the hardware perspective Chromebook pixel is the best laptop after MacBook out there so if you're somebody who wants to buy it go and buy it you won't regret it well actually you cannot buy it yet because it will be announced but um, uh, that will be an exciting device to to check out anyway thanks for watching this is just a test video f to see you know if this format where i hold the camera and talk is is a better one it's more casual than sitting me and talking in a robotic voice and if you like my content just you know don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and uh, i'll be giving you more news updates throughout the day and don't forget i am heading to suzecon and i'll be giving you a live coverage from that event thanks for watching see you next time bye bye